Assalamu alaikum. So here's a step-by-step -step tutorial on how to install third-party themes on Windows 7. First and foremost, you need to install Universal Theme Patcher, which is uh, which patches UX theme.dll file so that uh, you can install third-party themes, visual styles on Windows. It seems on all Windows from XP to Windows 7, 32-bit and 64-bit. Once you do that, you visit um, any website and download the third-party Windows 7 themes. Uh, you'll probably get something like this, right? A theme file, a zip file, and when you uh, extract it, you'll get a theme file and a subdirectory with uh, MS styles. So just take the theme file and the directory and copy it to copy it to C Windows Resources Themes. Once you do that, and right-click on Personalize, you'll get the theme over here and you can apply it after you know patching the UX theme.dll to change the mouse pointers you can just go to mouse point pointers and uh, and you can just you know choose any cur.ani file I've got like cur and ani file over here you know, just choose it or you can again check um, that website and check for some standard windows cursor themes and these are not cursor xp themes so once you do that you can save it save it to a profile or a scheme and uh, merge it to your theme to any of your you know, awesome theme mm, so that being done you can change orb file either by replacing explorer.exe supplied by some other guys from some other forums or you can um, change it yourself by downloading this utility called windows 7 orb changer and you need this uh, image over here with black ba background and your own orb, your own Windows orb, or you know any crappy orb. So here, if you install this, you'll get the sample orb, and you'll be able to change the explorer.exe or patch explorer.exe, and you'll have the original backed up by this software. So you don't have to worry about that. And uh, restart, you'll get a new orb. And to, for more orbs, you can again check uh, the um, DeviantArt. All right. Uh, having done that, you can uh, look for some system files supplied by the theme uh, creators. Here, I've got like uh, system files like Explorer Frame.dll, which will change this. Uh, yeah, which will change the back and uh, forward icon. So to replace this icons to replace the system files if you have a Win, uh, Linux distro it would be like uh, really easy to do it as you know boot up your Linux distro copy these files and paste it without any issues or if you want to do it on Windows itself you have to go to those directories let me go see Windows uh, uh, you have to disable UAC first you know temporarily and then um, and then go to that folder which I mean you'll have the instructions on where you're supposed to paste those files like here I've got info.txt and they say I've included several system files which you can but you can't but you don't need to change okay you have you need explorer.txt for the start button explorer frame for for back forward buttons okay he didn't tell you exactly where to paste but you will uh, find it anyways so you go to system32 you'll get those files so in explorer. Explorer. Hey, where's that explorer? Frame .dll. Yeah, I've got this over here, but the thing is, I cannot directly paste. If I try to paste, it won't allow me to copy the file. And the reason behind that is why? Because me being the administrator, you see, I haven't got the full control. I cannot modify the file. Only the trusted installer can. So I have to take the ownership. To do that, click on Advanced. Uh, go to owner, edit, click on yes, click on your username, press ok, if you have taken ownership of this object, blah blah, ok, and now you have taken ownership of this object, now as you are the administrator, you can click on edit, press yes, uh, you are the administrator, click allow, now you have got the full control, press ok, yes, ok, this is how you do it, now if you copy and paste the file it will work 100% um, so this is the way you do it actually you cannot really undo all this easily so make sure you have a created a system restore point or just screw it alright this is how you do it
um, how to patch the system files and how to copy the third party DLLs and EXEs and reboot the system or restart the explorer.exe process and you will get your own awesome theme. Um, I hope uh, this was easy and uh, please do check my other videos. Assalamu alaikum. Sayonara.